All right, Bell is sounded. We are underway with another contest here on Ground Zero Television. Hashtag respect the craft. Big Sean Kramar's changing captain, Nick Ando. Brian Reckless, one of the fastest rising stars coming out of this place, taking on legit and Yohan Nara, traveling all the way from New Jersey to be here at Ground Zero for opening taping day. Yeah, Ryan Reckless uh, has a good little bit of a, like beginner skill and a whole lot of confidence to go along with that. Yeah, he backs up that confidence with action in the ring. Ryan Reckless, the growth I've seen in this kid in the past six months alone has been astounding. He's, he, he's comfortable in there now, like you said. That confidence is coming out, and Nara better be careful, because with that confidence, I hate to say, also comes a little bit of, a little bit of a cocky attitude. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's that's more what I was tending to imply there. Uh, uh, he's got not as much experience as uh, his confidence would lead you to believe, but uh, that that's the problem is that sometimes uh, you yourself become overconfident. And, Yes, Ryan equally has great potential and a big mouth. Yes. Johan Nara hanging on though with a takeover. And I'll tell you what, the scene in New Jersey is hot as hell. There are there's action all over that state. And Johan Nara has wrestled a lot oh, of yeah. places, but he wants the best competition. So he traveled here to Western New York. And Ryan Reckless is one he would love to check off of his list. Getting a chance to do that right now. Yeah, we're seeing some great back and forth action. Each guy kind of getting uh, their chance to implement their own game plan. Yeah, he had Reckless on his heels with the first thing going with Hipponesa, and then with that inside out kick. I bad at his offense. Now he's chopping him down. Yeah, these two men beating the living hell out of each other here at Ground Zero, where we fight, where wrestling matters, where we respect the craft. Absolutely. Unlike Ryan with these shortcuts, stepping on the toes, shots to the throat. I hate to be the guy that does this, but she, she may or may not know a thing or two about that, right? I understand. I can respect the game, but I don't think necessarily... Uh, There's a time and a place for everything. Yeah, let's just say I don't necessarily like these youngsters pulling out these moves that I got in my back pocket. And, and, and you're not giving all of that information out to these trainees. They have to figure that out themselves, yes. right? Yeah, I, I, I didn't teach them that. I, for some reason, I don't believe you, man. Uh, I can assure you, I did not teach him that. But, uh, Another one taken, found a target on the lead. He, here's the thing, though. I'm not mad at the strategy here. Uh, definitely a, a height difference between the two of them, and he's trying to uh, really take away that advantage. I was going to say, he was impressed by his athleticism, so now he's trying to take it away. And one thing you can't teach, any of you can't teach, is how to maneuver or how to work on a broken leg, and the way Ryan Reckless is going right now, Johan Nara may be in that situation in a short time. Is it sharpshooter time? No yeah. small oh, package. No. I like it, Johan. Nara showing that he came to fight, but once again, right back, back to the, to the knee. Leg. Big chop block from Reckless. And Nara in a world of hurt. You can see the painful expression on his eyes as he flails around on the mat, trying to hang onto that leg. Absolutely, and it's up to Reckless to really keep him on the mat here. Uh, he's doing a good job of really attacking that leg. Uh, but he's got to make sure he's got something in his head for what he's going to do to follow up. Yeah, he's got to make a comeback. Trust me when I say this. The, when you travel as far as he traveled today, a loss tastes twice as bad. And you got to get in the car and drive all the way back home. Young Ryan Reckless doesn't have that problem. No, he's, he's in his own backyard right now. And uh, Nara's got to be worn out because the drive from New Jersey to here in Rochester, New York, it's, it's a good four hours, and that's a long time to be in the seated position. Part of the uh, world it's, wrestling. A, it's a long time to be in a car for sure, but it's part of the job. And uh, all these young guys, uh, it may be new to them now, but it, it all goes into part of the planning. You know, if you have a match and you have to travel to get there, you have to expect that you're going to be worn out a little bit. You're going to be a little bit tired. Yeah, well, Nara went from worn out to nearly done after that massive spine buster by Ryan Reckless. Dropping the knee right across the skull. Reckless gonna put this away, maybe. Not yet. A couple more knees like that, he may forget the right. Uh, he, he had him close there, but I, I think Ryan's really getting a little bit too full of himself, and he's not paying as much attention to execution as he should. 
No. And if you, you know. lose that execution or those basics, you'll be taken advantage of in that ring. 100%. And you can't underestimate your opponent. Oh, and Ryan Reckless, by not taking advantage of the opportunity that's in front of him and letting Nara get back to his feet, shows that this is uh, something that you guys have to work on with him. Yeah, oh, open 100%. That mouth, open an opportunity. Nara stepping right through it. Lacks nasal on those strikes because you know. Oh, oh, oh. Hard oh. when you got your face compromised. That, that leg gave out and Nara yeah. went down. Both guys are really worn out here. Switching in the arm. Trying to get that cross arm breaker in. I but don't know how I feel start. about that. Reaching for the ropes. I think both guys are a little bit lost here. Tangled up. And Nara got free. That's the only thing he needed to do. But let's see. Record Good, Ryan, right, right back to the leg. <laughs> Another knee DT. That's what I like to see. Ryan took a little bit of a left turn in Albuquerque and uh, wound up at the arm, but he's right back at the leg. He has a real chance of finishing a Johan here. Hanging on. Turn it over into the half crab. Let's see if he can lean back. Oh, no. Just two. Almost got the upset. Let's see. Both guys running oh, on fumes man. here. Wow, on one leg. Cyclone on one kick leg. delivered. Had to throw it all into that 540 kick. Let's see. Both guys Ryan's on not fumes. Moving. Ryan is not moving. That, that could still be it. Oh. Still just two life left in the body of Ryan Reckless. I don't know how much of a base there's going to be left for Ryan to get on it. So. Seemingly, all he had left in that kick. He can't put any weight on that leg at all. Things not looking good for legit Johan Nara at this uh, point. There's no way to measure passion, though. Just because his leg hurts doesn't mean it's done for. Ryan Reckless coming to life. That leg. Sharpshooter City, let's see. We're real close to the ropes here. Real close to the ropes here. Johan, it's right there for you. Can't Nara hang on. It's right there He's for you. He's just got to reach out. Sometimes when you have so much leverage on your legs, you can't even, there oh, there you go. Johan Nara getting the break just in the nick of time. Trying to pull him out. He doesn't have all of it. He's gonna have to tighten that up. It looks like that's what he's going to do here. Sharpshooter locked in right now. Nowhere for Nara to go. That's it, that's it. You gotta admire the effort of Johan Nara, but the damage just too much. Your winner, Ryan Reckless, in impressive fashion. 100%, you know, uh, it, it's really difficult when you have a lot of pressure put on your knee that early in the match to come back from that, you know. Uh, everything that you do applies pressure to the knee, and Ryan Reckless just had the game plan to come in and take that out. And he did just that. Your winner, Ryan Reckless. The winner also are you guys, because we've got more to come. And we'll be right back. All right, bell is sounded. We are underway. Another match. Another day here at Ground Zero. Zach Tong taking on Invincible Vince Valor, the pride of Niagara Falls, New York. Now, I mean, not just solely by their physical appearance, but in hanging out with both men, very different. Very, very different. Let's say Zach likes to, you know, partake in some recreational things, whereas Vince, true student of the game, you know, more of a tape study guy, whereas uh, Zach studies uh, more herbal remedies. I, I, I don't know if that's true. I once witnessed Vince Baylor uh, eat so many edibles that he fell asleep on commentary. That's just so, because he was hungry. Well, it's, it's a long-term strategy by Zach Tong. He introduced those animals into the life of Vince Mallard. You may see something that you didn't expect today. Watch out. Remember, that wasn't a fire. That was just Zach Tong coming out of the locker room. Look yeah. out. No, we'll see if Vince learned his lesson here. Uh, see if he's kept on the straight and narrow. Zach, Zach Tong, Tong, what a right hand. Ooh, throwing hands here. One. Throwing Vince hands. Valor. Vince Mallard not expected to get hit like this by the rookie Tong doesn't even have his hands up. I don't know if that's uh, on purpose or can't help himself. But Vince Valor answering with a back elbow and you cannot take your time to a veteran like Valor, but Tong once again. Almost took his head off. Almost took his head off twice. Back to back with high kicks. 
that's a new weapon. I've seen that. I haven't seen that in the arsenal of Tong until today. Learning stuff every single time you come train here at Ground Zero, and you're learning from the best, right, guys? Absolutely. He's got educated feet, and they are poaching. Up and over goes Tong. Baylor staring him down. Up and over again. Up and over again. Oh, what? Baylor's just going to let this happen. A little bit of an extended game of cat and mouse. Oh, and Vince oh, Baylor. Boy. Clubbing blow right to the back of the skull. He had had enough. That's a straight trickery. You Zach know. Tong was fooled 100% by Vince Baylor, and look what resulted. Yeah, there's really something to show for uh, Baylor's patience here. He's about three days into that head shave. And he's uh, not in any hurry to get right back to it. I believe all, uh, all three of us would know a thing or two about that, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a conversation for another day, man. I cleaned up yesterday. It looks like Baylor's on about a Wednesday, Thursday schedule. It's my lucky day. I got the full horseshoe today. Don't tell my wife. She tells me that uh, it's unacceptable, and uh, I gotta go home after this. Baylor with a huge chop. Zach Tong wants to go home after that. Lungs. I'm told that uh, Zach Tong is a bit of a horticulture specialist. Yes. Fan of the rhododendrons. Uh oh. Horticulture or not, he's in trouble. This is not good. I don't good. know how many more of these he could take. His, his chest is going to look like Baylor's trunks after this. Headbutt delivered in Tong on shaky legs right now. Maybe spaghetti legs. Vince Baylor hammering away here. And this is exactly what Valor needed to do, slow the contest down and dictate the pace. Whoa. Oh, the disrespect. He's told that ref he was number one. Why, why is this so mean? No respect for the law this game. I think Zach's a little under his skin, especially tagging him with these rights. Yeah, hammering away once again is Zach Tong, the comeback kid. Oh, and that'll oh, end the comeback. Medium spine buster. Just two. Zach Tong staying alive. I'm not sure how, because his head bounced off of that canvas. I don't think Baylor got all of that, but uh, it's enough to really turn the tides here. Vince uh, Gary, never a good place to be with Vince. Baylor always looking for that death. Valor driver, not able to nail it yet, but Tong. Pump kick! Huge Boo! pump kick. Got every bit of it. And again. Another one. Zach Tong, this is maybe his most impressive contest he's ever been in this Cut off real short there. Oh, and a kick again. Wow. Zach Tong must have been a sensei somewhere. He's let the feet fly. It's amazing what a little bit of flower will do. Oh, and down with a sling blade. Got him real, and let's see. Hook the leg. Only oh, a two. Still life in Vince Valor and Zach Tong starting to maybe see some frustration on that face. Can you blame him? This kid's thrown everything but the kitchen sink at Invincible Vince Valor, and it has not been enough. Oh boy, he's going for something big here. Maybe a mistake to go up to the second yeah. row. Valor ready for it. Death Valor driver, maybe. Let's see. Oh, and that's got to do it right on the top of the head. It's unfortunate, but it seems one, it just takes one mistake. Somebody with the experience and the strength of Vince Baylor, you give them one opening and they could just take advantage of it. And you're seeing it right now on our STF media replay. All it took was that one inch. Death Valor driver, one, two, three, your winner, Vince Valor. What a night of action so far. Plenty more to come. Ground zero, the place to be in Rochester, New York. We'll be back, folks. Sound of the bell, we are underway. Tag team action tonight on Ground Zero Television. Hashtag respect the craft. Big Sean Kramar, Chief, and uh, Saren Rain. The third portion of Edge of Hope as we have Maddock and Jeremiah Richter taking on Reed. Bryce Piergold and Big Budget. Maddock off to a great start. Lama, he's draw, not enough yet. Fast paced start to this contest. Saren Rain, what do your boys have to do to put down Greed? 
my boys just got to keep going. We, we've been up and down the road countless times, fought uh, harder, harder opponents than these guys, so I know my boys got this. And Maddox showing that he is up to par right now, hammering away on pure. And there it is, that falling uppercut. Cheech, a veteran of the tag team circuit, of course. You darn right. What are your feelings on Edge of Hope's growth as a trio and as a unit? Uh, well, I, I, I've been keeping an eye on it. And the staunch veteran that I am, I ain't gonna give him no shine just yet. They still got a little more work to do. All right, Saren, relax. I see you over there. I know, I know. You guys are working hard. Like you said, you face bigger, better, but we're here today. It looks like Green, oh, here we go. And the business just picked up, to say the least, the monster big budget. You wanna talk about a hoss fight. That's what we got right now in the center of the ring. The dominant force, Jeremiah Richter, squaring off with big budget, and I hope I hope you boys reinforce the ring before this contest started. I was gonna say it's getting media. Big budget showing that he's got the strength, but Jeremiah Richter always up in game for a fight, and budget better watch out for that size 14. Oh, here we go. That's been known to go down a throat or two and end a contest or three. Big budget gotta be watching Jeremiah Richter. Richter said, I'm right here, big man. Said I got something for you. Let's see what Budget's got. Big shoulder delivered. Neither man willing to budge. Oh, it's getting beefy. Here we go. A couple of great trains crashing in the station, but no movement whatsoever. Well-built rigs. You want to talk about tag team action, there's a ton of that here at Ground City, two of them, or Ground Zero, that is. We're seeing two of the best teams we've got to offer in action right now, and we're bringing it to you because the new wave in professional wrestling, no pun intended, hey. is ground zero, and we respect the craft, and we're gonna show you that here on YouTube, here on Facebook, and anywhere where you can stream video. I wanna thank you for tuning in. Jeremiah Richter having his way with big budget. And Maddox with a step up into Gary. Still haven't chopped him down, though. The big man is still on his feet. Budget stopped that. Oh, there we go. See, they never got him off his feet, though. I'm just saying. Right there, you can tell that Big Budget watches a lot of tape. You can see by the look in his eye, he knew right when Manic hit the ropes exactly what his next move would be. He could have cut off that ring. Bryce Hero for the ride. Manic with eyes ready. in the back of his head. Oh, no! That'll end any good times. Yeah, Bryce's demise ultimately helped Big Budget get this. Here we go. It's just weird to see Maddox also a big man down so early. I mean, there's no size advantage when you're, when you're in there with a guy like Big Budget. Maddox used to being the bigger of the two in the contest and uses that size advantage everywhere he goes. He's gonna have to think of something else. Now, I will say for a newer team, I'm surprised how they've been able to cut off the ring. Nice pump kick from Pure Gold, followed by a headbutt. Now, you're not gonna find a better quality unit than Reed out there. These guys have done everything there is to do in Rochester wrestling in a very short period of time. And like you said, you can't tell that these guys have only been together since 2020. Now, how does that make you feel, Saren Rand, that there's, you know, a, a group of young, uh, young up-and-comers so quickly on your guys' tail? Well, We've stand across the ring from Greed countless times. We've had we button heads with them countless times. But the difference between them and us, they stay in Rochester. We travel all across New York and the East Coast. Wow. Very true, very true. But in time, let's see what Greed can bring out. Like Ho -ho! Look at this. They're taking your big man right off his feet. What a power slam by Price Pure Gold. But Maddox doesn't stay off his feet. He always finds a way back and always gets his way back up. Hammering away right now is Pure Gold. This man knows how to take advantage of an opportunity. His uh, his financial record shows that. His wrestling record shows that. And like you'll see right here on this instant replay, heads up, big power slam, game change. Once again, smartly in between Maddox and his corner, trying to cut off that ring. Now, I don't know if exchanging strikes them is the best thing to do. Nice drop kick there from Pure Gold. But what forearms won't do, I guess two feet will. Yeah, a little bit of outsmart, a little bit of outsmarting done there by Price Pure Gold. Let's see if this meets the end. 
Not yet, just two. Be smart to get the big man back in, get a little more lead and automatic. And it looks like Reed's gonna do just that. Oh, Maddox had to fight back. Yeah, one thing Maddox will always do is fight. You gotta admire the moxie out of the young line in the West. There hasn't been a challenge in the history of this man's career that he has ever backed down from. You have no idea. Even in normal everyday life. And I thought about it, one of my favorite people on this planet. And, uh, I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad that this school came to fruition. And I'm excited to see what the future holds for everybody here. Unfortunately, he just got a big helping of a bunch of clotheslines and then a spin kick right to the foot. And it resulted in crossed eyes for Maddox right now. Man cannot see straight and a stop right to the back of the skull. Putting a lot of faith in that bottom rope. Big budget dude right where to put that foot too, right on the soft spot of the skull. Oh, Maddox asking for it. See, here's the problem. Sometimes you hit a guy hard, you knock him out. Sometimes you hit a guy hard, you wake him up. Prime example right in front of your eyes right now. Maddox back in this thing. Once again, showing him he's number one. What I want to know is why do they always hit back when somebody's asking to be hit? Never swing. Take him down. I don't understand, but Maddox, man, that head, that head made a solid steal. Something about getting in between those groups. Those ropes. Which brings out a level of machismo. Yeah. Yeah, that's a real good way to put it. Trust and look, me. And look at this guy in the ring right now, big budget. In my everyday life, I walk around a nice, normal guy. I get in that ring, I become a psycho. <laughs> Everybody has seen that more than once. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, sometimes you ask for a chop, because like I said, sometimes it's to wake you up. Wait a second. No one asked for that. Big side suplex from Big Budget. I think the ring took the worst of that one. Yeah, Maddox got to go back to the drawing board. You can see this starting to wear on him, burying his head in the turnbuckle, trying to get whatever it takes to get back to his feet. I feel like this is the farthest he's gotten across the ring. This is the closest he's gotten to attack. And look at it. It's halfway. Saren Rain, your boy's in trouble. He is. He is. But... There's one thing about us at the hope is that keyword of hope. We don't give up, we don't stop, we just keep on your ass. And it's funny how this this just changed in the blink of an eye, right? When you started talking about hope, you spoke things into existence. And I know you know that we know a thing or two about speaking things into existence, Mr. Saren Ray. We manifest that. Absolutely. Well, I don't know how you manifested a missile drop kick from Matic of all people. Now, Maddox is, uh, is deceptively fast for a 265-pound man. He does things that 150-pound people do with ease. And it's impressive all the time, but size. Jeremiah Richter pushing pure gold in the corner. I was going to say, nothing deceptive oh. about Richter. No, and that spine buster just very pure gold, but watch out. Oh, here we go. It's getting beefy again. Chops and shots. On tap from big budget. Rolls, watch out. There it is, size 14. Too much momentum. Oh, black hole slam. And it's still going. Jeremiah Richter doing what he does best. That's it. No. Thought for sure that was the end of this contest, but not yet. Bryce Purgo gets his shoulder up just in the nick of time. Yeah, the bell ringer was biting on that one. Oh, look at this, the strength. He's making tags while carrying a grown man. Watch this. Bad news for Green. Look at a leg. Oh, you got to count for the other. Big Budget knew what this was happening. It's a tag happening. match. There's four people. Got to count for everyone, especially trying to go for a bit. Can't get Maddox up. Budget to the outside. Watch Pure Gold go. Schoolboy, hook at a leg. Still just two. I'm going to say, these Green guys are sneaky. Yeah, absolutely. They've scammed many an individual over the years. Their financial records show it. Taxman wants to talk to him. They're not talking, and that might be it. Oh, the whiplash on his head. 
I can promise you when we hit that, that's the exclamation point on anything. We're done. It's over. We win. Edge of Hope, your winners tonight. Jeremiah Richter and Maddox pulling it out. What a spirited contest here on Ground Zero Television. Watch this one more time. If a choke slam wasn't enough, the extra added and Maddox dragging him back down. Ooh, not good. One, two, and three. You could count it all day long. Edge of Hope are your winners. What a great week of television. Sarah and Rain, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. And we'll be back real soon. Stay tuned, folks.